The water level at Angat Dam has dipped further to just over 3 meters above the critical level due to insufficient rain volume. Ang karakteristik kasi ng localized thunderstorm or thunderstorm is 1 to 2 hours lang. Bukod nga sa hindi sapat, hindi naman siya eksaktong bumabagsak within the watershed. If the dry weather continues, Pag-asa says, the dam reserve may already reach the critical level at 160 meters next week. This means a lower and murkier water supply for Metro Manila residents. To conserve water, the National Water Resources Board has reduced Metro Manila's allotment from 48 cubic meters per second in May to 46 cubic meters per second this month. Baka sa susunod na linggo ay magkaroon na tayo ng uh, karampatan decision na magkaroon ng adjustment sa allocation po. Maynila says it has already started implementing water interruptions last Tuesday during off-peak hours with 30% of its customers. Depende po sa magiging uh, uh, level ng turbidity na darating sa amin or depende rin dun sa volume of water na i-allocate sa MWSS. Ito po yung magdidictate kung gaano kahaba ang posibleng maging rotational water interruption na gagawin namin. Kung hindi na po namin kaya sa gabi, kailangan na po namin mag-execute mag, mag nito during peak hours. Manila Water says its customers may also experience similar water interruptions. Baka yung nabigyan muna dati ng mga uh, 24 hours, maaring umikli. No? Yung dating nakakakuha ng 16 hours, baka mamaya 12 hours or even less. Both distributors plan to activate the pulse to augment the water supply in Metro Manila. Shaira Francisco, we are One News.